In this screencast, I would like to shed some light on the different reference views in the HeapWalker. When you're looking for a memory leak, the references view in the HeapWalker is the key tool to get the necessary insight in order to fix the memory leak. And once you have used the other views in the HeapWalker to select the objects of interest, in this case the 847 instances of bean wrapper impl, you then go to the references view and by default you see the reference graph. The reference graph shows single objects from the current object set, one object at a time, together with the immediate environment of incoming and outgoing references. You can move between objects in the current object set with these navigation buttons. And you can open more incoming and outgoing references as needed. The reference graph is the most realistic visualization of the heap. However, its visual density of information is quite low. And if you have to follow long chains of references, the tree views of incoming and outgoing references will be easier to use. Here, for example, the tree of outgoing references. If you have to analyze more complex tangles of references, that is best done in the reference graph. For example, look at these three references here. They all point to the same object, as seen by the object ID at the end. And that is immediately obvious in the reference graph. We can see these three arrows all point to the same object. There is one visual node per object in the reference graph, unlike in the tree views. Now if you're looking for a memory leak, the intention is to find a path to a garbage collector route that will explain why an object has not been garbage collected. And the way to do that is to right-click an object, choose show path to GC route, and show one or several paths to a garbage collector route. Now again, in this situation, it will be easier to use the tree of incoming references that has a greater visual density of information and allows you to see the path to the garbage collector route without scrolling. Apart from the tree views of incoming and outgoing references and the reference graph that shows single objects from the current object set, there are also reference views that show cumulated information for all objects in the current object set. Especially interesting is the cumulated incoming references view that allows you to select objects based on their types of incoming references. For example, in this case we can see that all 847 of these bean wrapper impulse are referenced by a type converter delegate. But only 342 of them are referenced by a default bean configuration. I can select all these bean wrapper impuls, all these 342 bean wrapper impuls, by right-clicking and choosing Use Referenced Objects. Here are the 342 instances of bean wrapper impul that are referenced in this way. Alternatively, I can go directly to the reference holders, the default bean configurations, that are responsible for these references. Finally, the cumulated incoming and outgoing reference views are tree tables that allow you to quickly explore all possible incoming and outgoing references to an entire set of objects. 